um, conference about marriage equality in the church, which is a bit of a you know, hot-button topic at the moment. If you read the papers and watch the news, everyone's kind of talking about it. We wanted, as um, a congregation, Crave MCC here in Christchurch, to show a little bit of leadership on the subject. And instead of having a kind of a show-off between the church and marriage equality, talk about ways that the church can move forward on the issue of marriage equality. Um, the congregation here of Crave MCC is a church that's been around for about five years. We were based on an MCC church here called All Saints. Um, but Crave started in 2008 as a movement that was about renewal within MCC, about moving the denomination forward into a world where, um, I guess, LGBTI people were no longer a frightened minority, but it was more about integrating with the regular church, um, more about looking at at ways of, um, of bringing Christians together and moving forward. And we call ourselves a um, dynamic, inclusive, progressive church. That's our basic value system, which really just dynamic talks about our center in God and the importance of worship and community. Inclusive talks about um, the way that everybody is welcome here, and that's not just a throwaway line for us. That's actually, how does Neil put it? Um, it's, we, we actually we, Yeah, <laughs> we're not kidding. <laughs> we're, we're actually not kidding when we say everyone is welcome. It's a church that is for all kinds of people, and we hope that we can show you welcome to those of you who are new here or visiting and show you what that looks like. Progressive means that it's actually not just for us. It's We believe that God has a purpose for the world, and God has a purpose for the church, and we want to be a part of that, and we want to be people who push ourselves to the limit and push our communities to the limit and are a prophetic voice. So... That's a little bit about our spiritual DNA. And um, what's going to go on today is we have a few sessions in the morning that really kind of cover the theology and the biblical stuff around what same-sex marriage is and looking at stuff like everything from the clobber passages in the Bible to what is a broader scope of what the Bible is saying about sexual diversity and about family and things like that. Um, then we're going to have lunch and uh, lunch is just a gold coin donation. Sue is, where is she? In the kitchen. Is in the yeah. kitchen right now. <laughs> so I can't point her out to you, but um, she's very difficult to miss. And she's going to be doing a head count um, in a couple of hours to see how many people. And then just if you have a gold coin donation, throw it her way. If you don't have a gold coin donation, then, you know, we'll probably feed you anyway. And, um, and then after that, we have someone from Christchurch whose name I've forgotten, who's going to be talking in the afternoon around the history of marriage equality in Australia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, talking about the uh, history of the um, legislation yeah. and uh, how it came into, into, into being. So, yeah. one of the, the local uh, political um, activists, uh, a young man called uh, Tony Mill, um, yeah. uh, who has uh, been very proactive in, in uh, trying to encourage engagement with the community uh, with the progression of the Marriage Amendment Bill uh, within the Christchurch area and a little bit beyond as well. Yeah, so that's going to be a bit exciting. Um, we have some guys that have come out from Sydney, Martin and PJ. They're going to be sharing their testimonies throughout the day and talking about what is the mission of MCC and, and what it is that we're trying to achieve in people's lives. So at the end of the day, we're kind of finalising it with talking about where to from here and what's the way forward and PJ is going to be leading on that. Now tomorrow we have a morning off and then in the afternoon at 1.30 we're meeting back here to talk a little bit more about the practical aspects of putting this all in place and we're talking about the idea of the church as a gifted community and not just the way that the church here in Christchurch has a mission but also looking at each person and what is your role within the local church so you can help that mission to happen. Um, and at some point today, just grab from me, if you haven't had one already, uh, a little sheet of paper that's called a spiritual gifts inventory. Um, oh, it's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> so if you left it at home, you're fine. Um, if you haven't got one yet, then you can grab one off me, and tomorrow we're going to be talking about... Um, it's always fun to do them, and I like to do them every couple of years, because you're constantly changing um, and finding out what it is that that you can do that helps you to participate and contribute to your local church. It's really quite amazing. And then you always find out skills that you didn't know you have, such as, for instance, martyrdom, which is the gift that I found out that I had. So I'm looking forward to that one <laughs> when that comes up. But... <laughs> 
Yeah, and then um, we have worship at 5 o'clock tomorrow, which is Crave worship that happens here every week. So you're most welcome to come along to that as well. Um, you're standing there like you want to say something. Yeah, well, Marion said, introduce Carl. Oh, I right, think that's, that's a little bit redundant now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just didn't want to sleep sneak away. And <laughs> Marion just suddenly sat down and went, Ooh. Well, thank you for your contribution. That's right, this is Carl. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know that was going to happen. I'll be over here. <laughs> Marion is the worship leader here at Crave in Christchurch. Um, over to you, Marion. Thank you. We, um, yeah, Marion is the worship leader here who's, who's sort of been very aware that, that there are some very talented musicians in this group that, that way... Including yourself. No. Including yourself. <laughs> All the musicians up on the stage are playing. <laughs> but we're just going to start off with, with a collection of songs. Um, We'll all sing three fairly lively songs. We will then listen to PJ Chira's testimony, and then we'll have a couple more quieter songs. Uh, some of them will be um, sort of through the, the media, the, the speakers, um, and then maybe some of them will be playing. So please stand as you're able, and, and Neil will click us through to the first song. Yes, I know.